Keith Docker. Hello, how are you? I haven't met before. No? My name's Rosina. Come and take a seat. Oh, lovely thing. I'm actually a clinical pharmacist here. First of all, because I've not met you before, can I just get you to confirm your date of birth? 26 of the 6th, 37. That's great. That Thank makes you. me 82. Oh. Um, can mm -hmm. I say something? Of course you can. I think I still start, I've still got a bit of ca um, skin cancer. Okay. Because I've got this. Mm hmm. I've had it a long time. Yeah. And, and it come up and I knocked this off and it was just a hole. Yeah. But it's carted up again. Okay. Have you seen shown that to the doctor? I haven't seen the doctor. We'll get a Not doctor. Not even a witch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with your blood pressure and then we'll get one of the doctors to have a look to see. Do you know that I've had uh, skin cancer? No, I'm going to look in your notes now to see what's happening. Golly. Oh, gosh, yeah. You can just see it. That's healed yeah. nicely. And the same part of my ear is gone. There. You see, they've done such a good job, you can't tell. You can't. I wouldn't have, no, I wouldn't have noticed. Done a good job. Really good job. So, nice and relaxed. No talking, because that's going to bring your blood pressure up. So I'm going to have a chat with Doctor now. This is Doctor Wine. She's come to say hello. 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 Your arm. Let's Another have a beauty look. as well. Pardon? Another beautiful woman as well. Let's have a look at your hand. What's been happening? I was thinking it's skin, ca skin cancer again. Mm. Hi there. Grab a seat there. And um, you've got a new knee. Yeah. <laughs> How's it been? It's painful so far. OK. Um, if you're happy to, I'll take the dressing off, I'll have a look. If it looks suitable, we can take all the bits and pieces off and we'll, we'll take it from, from there. Is that OK? Are you happy as you are? Yes. Sir. Yeah. That looks really, really good, actually. Looks absolutely fab. It'll still feel quite tight because yeah. we've got the clips in, yeah. um, but that should hopefully feel a bit better if we take some of them out. It is swollen, but that's what we'd expect yeah. it to be because your body naturally sends fluid to just kind of protect and heal that area, but it's not looking too bad, actually. So it might just be a little bit of sort of pulling as they come out. If you need a breather, let me know. Just doing every other one for now, OK. I might leave those couple in at the top because it's not as healed as I'd like it to be. So you can see here along your knee how lovely and healed mm -hmm. that is. But can you see here just slightly, yeah. not quite? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll pop a dressing over it. It might just need a couple of days just to sort of really heal. But I'm going to leave these in and we'll get you to come back and we'll take them out. Yeah, happy with that? Yeah. It looks absolutely fine. There's no redness, there's no signs of infection. But 10 days after major surgery, sometimes your body just needs that little bit of extra time to heal. Okay. Is that OK? It might never sort of match up perfectly on the top. Because sometimes what they do is they try and put the skin together and staple it and sometimes that then happens and it heals underneath but you get a little bit of area on top. I think that probably is what's going to happen but it's not as healed as much as I'd like it to be. OK? Take it steady. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, bye. Bye now. Thank you. Bye now. And bye. We're going this way. This way. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, thanks for waiting. That's all right. No. Come on. We will eat because no. our man, the, the taxi ta didn't come. Did it come? Oh. We ever think we're a bit daft? I don't know. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Good. Excellent. Right now, down to what we really want to talk about. We do. Which, of course, is this PSA. We do. So, shall I bring it up? And yeah. you said it had gone up to twenty. I did. I did. Let me let me bring up your results. So last time in June. 
when you did it, it's 15. Yeah, 15.7. 15.7, and it's now 20.2. But Mr Viney said that because you've had the prostate cancer, yes, that it will always be a bit high, and they're not too worried about it unless it goes above 40. OK. I'll give you a copy of the letter. Oh, all right. I think it's always useful to see these things. Yes, thank you. You forget when you can't read it. Yeah, no, no. Let, let me just print No, it. but doctors type them these days. They, 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 <laughs> they do. <laughs> yes, I, you wouldn't want one of my handwriting on it. I, That's I, I, what I mean. No, no, I, 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 I agree with that. <laughs> so he said, if the PSA goes above 40, then that means things aren't quite where they should be. No. We need to look at it again. Or the alkaline phosphatase, yeah? So when you have your blood tests, in that group of blood tests, it's something called an alkaline phosphatase. Uh, and that looks at the bone. Yes. And so if anything starts to go wrong with the bones, that goes up. That's a useful letter. Yeah. When do we book in for a flu jab? Do you want them today? Can do. What, now? Yeah. Yeah. OK, give me two seconds, I'll go and grab them. All right. I'll come back. If you both lend me your arms, I'll be back. Yes. Does it matter which one? No, no, whichever one you're willing to lend. <laughs> so who's going first? Come on. <laughs> hey. Who's going first? I said, him on. Oh. <laughs> you. That's one advantage of being deaf, isn't it? <laughs> what? There we go. You're doing really well. Oh dear, I hope it's not a one that's done with white of egg because I'm allergic to yeah, it. No. Are you allergic? Don't... Yes. So, are you, uh, so, do you normally have a special one each year? Yes, one that isn't a white of egg because I am allergic to it. So, I've got to be careful because actually some of these, unfortunately, these ones, um, do. And so we have, to, we have to get them in separately, Mrs Beaver. OK. So I'm glad you told me that. So let, let, me get it, let me get it sorted out for you. We'll give you a ring once you've got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you remember it. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I was ill. Yeah. No. My eyes wouldn't open. Yeah. And my legs went from me. Yes. I've never felt so I'm, I'll daft sure, in all my life. I'll make sure it's on your notes as well. Yes. Because there's nothing on your notes, but I'll check on the other notes. Is that OK? That's right. where it helps. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Really nice yeah. to see you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Take care. And thank Bye. you for what you're doing for no, us. No, no, you're welcome, sir. I'll carry on a bit, a bit further. Yes, yes, I know. You've got it. <laughs> Take care. Can I ask you to come a bit closer over here? Come and sit down. Have a sit down for us. Let's just put some light on it. Oh, oh that, that there. Yeah, I'm afraid we will need to send you back to hospital so they can take a biopsy of that one. Would that be OK? Yeah. Chances are it's going to be fine, but there is a high, high probability that it's not fine and it is actually cancer, so we need to get, get it off your arm, literally, sooner rather than later. Is that OK? Yeah. And we'll get that sorted for you. If there's any further issues or you don't hear from them in two weeks, you must let us know. OK. All right? Yeah. Super duper. Is that OK, Rosina? And I'll get the referral done for you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> Come on, let's get your poles. These are really handy. Oh. I'm always doing some of the old breaking, it, breaking things. Oh. OK. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye now. Bye.